Hi guys, it's Kate Walker from The Incredible Canine. Today I want to talk about reciprocated play. When two dogs are playing, what we look for is a reciprocation of the play style, if the dog is comfortable with what's happening or not. So here we have Rio, the little Boston Terrier, playing with Yahtzee, the Rottweiler. And they are playing in a very similar way. Rio chases Yahtzee, Yahtzee chases Rio. It's back and forth. And then both dogs play bow, which is an invitation into another space. And then there is a natural break in the play, which is great. It's not just like go, 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 go 100% the whole time. Next we have Winston and Yahtzee. Winston is the hound mix and his play is just a little higher energy here. He's play bowing, he's really trying to engage Yahtzee in play. Yahtzee is a little stiffer with her movements. It's not quite as reciprocated between the two. There she play bows, but then Winston gets a little pushy for her liking in this moment. He really wants her to play. That's just a natural uh, distraction in the play. He had an itch or something, which is okay. Yahtzee loosens up her movement there is a little bit more fluid. And Winston play bows again. He's inviting Yahtzee into his personal space, like, come play, come get me. But here they disengage, which is great. If Winston was too pushy for Yahtzee, then I would just step in and say, hey, that's enough, you know, uh, 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 and yield him away so that he would disengage. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Have an incredible day. Bye.